welcome back and in this tutorial it gets exciting I'm going to show you how to publish an SDK channel to the Roku network first you need to log into your developer account dashboard if you don't have a Roku developer account yet please look out for our tutorial about how to do that after you're logged in click dashboard then my channels add a new channel Choose the developer SDK. Next, select if this is a beta channel or not. Now a beta channel is a test channel that you can install to share your channel built with your clients. For example, this comes handy if you've the agency license and you want to show your client what this channel looks like before publishing it to the channel. Keep in mind that a beta channel has some limitations. It can be installed only by 20 users simultaneously and it's valid for only 120 days. In this case, it's not a beta channel, so we don't need to change the default value. Fill in the channel name. In our case, it will be demo channel. On the next page, from the left side, you can choose the regions where you want the channel to be live, the language for your channel, and the classification of what type of channel is video, audio, and so on. In our case, it's a video channel published in English and only English for United States viewers. On the right side, you need to select if the channel is direct or not for children. Choose our channel age rating. Choose if a custom account is required to access the channel. Add a privacy policy URL and a term of use URL. When you've finished, click save. On the general store information page, you can see the channel title and we need to add a short description and a long description. Add your channel poster image and select the category for your channel. When finished, click save. The next screen is monetization. Now we will not monetize the channel with ads, so click continue. The next screen is for screenshots. I did save a screenshot when I compiled the channel, but if you did, you should add the screenshot there. You can provide up to six screenshots and the size should be full HD 1920 by 1080 pixels in JPEG or PNG format. On the next screen, support information. We need to add some support information URLs, a support email and a preferred URL for more information. Administrative and technical contact information. When finished, click save. Package upload page, you need to upload the SDK, a package recompiled earlier. First, choose the channel version. It's a new channel, so in this case, it will be 1.0. Choose the channel package, then check I'm not a robot and continue. As you can see here, everything is correct. The package was uploaded correctly. Next step, static analysis and click analyze. While Roku analyzes the package, go to the deep linking section and map out channel content. Select a random video from the JSON feed used to compile this channel. Copy the video ID and title. Select valid indefinitely and then click add. Click save and we'll wait a little bit for the validation. As you can see, all the check marks are correct. We can now schedule for publishing. We need to add a release note on the next screen, like what is this version about? In our case, because it's a new channel, publishing a new channel will do. Check these two check boxes and then click save. And with this, as you can see, we have a success message across the board and our channel was scheduled for review. This is how easy it is and I'll see you in the next video.